Hello everyone! So I really want to tackle my TBR and I have this very tall pile in the corner with books that I have yet to read. I picked out quite a few books that I'm very interested in and that I kind of want to like read like right now because they're either trending or they just seems interesting. I'm just like in the mood for a specific type of book. We're gonna go through half of my physical TBR and then we're gonna go through like my Kindle TBR. I have not bought a single book since January. I have been reading on my Kindle for the past couple of months. I've read so fast and I've been saving so much money because of it. The Kindle is like the greatest thing to have ever happen to us readers. It's just worth it. Like get a Kindle. If you've been debating, definitely get it. And I don't have to carry around a giant book with me all the time. Just like having it on my Kindle, I can read whatever I want. Okay, so let's get into the physical TBR. Okay, the book that I really want to read but I've been putting it off for so long. It is the fifth Zodiac Academy book and I just know this book is going to put me in a really bad slump. I'm kind of like not ready to read it yet but I want to read it because something tragic happens in the fourth book. So I want to know what is going to happen next. This is like a uh, maybe possibly like at the end of the month if not the beginning of july okay the next book i have here i really really wanted to read this book so bad this next one is the three lives of alex st pierre this book has been on my shelf for so long i completely forgot about it i really want to read it because it is so different from what i normally read this kind of talks about a girl she has like three lives basically they just mentioned christian dior and i'm like sold i just kind of need a break from like realistic romance okay so i've recently gotten back into fantasy and i'm honestly obsessed like i seriously want to read more fantasy books this year because it makes me feel something that i don't feel when i read like a regular contemporary book and i think that's like the whole point of just like reading fantasy is just to like be in a different world i have this one right here my best friend sent me and this is forge in fire and stars by andrea robertson and this cover is so cool i can already tell that the main female character is a total baddie and we're here for it it has something to do with the lost princess stealing the main female character and going on a mission to reclaim her throne i think it's just basically politics and the whole journey okay a prince and a princess is involved i think they're brothers and sisters i'm not sure honestly it just seems so exciting and i'm ready to read a world that i do not understand you guys this book has been literally everywhere like Everyone that I know or just like everyone that I follow on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever has read this book or has posted something about this book and I have had this book for a month sitting on my shelf. Literally, this is an arc that I received and I completely forgot about it. Like, what is wrong with me? This is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I have not seen or heard a negative review about this book yet and... I just want to read this book like right now like i want to drop everything now and bury myself into this book because it just it just seems so good i have no idea what this is about but i know dragons are involved and i love dragons and apparently it's enemies to lovers so this is like a college for dragons i know i would like this but i don't know i feel like this is gonna be my next read I really want to read this next when I'm done reading whatever it is that I'm reading. I don't even know what I'm reading right now. I'm literally reading like three books right now. It's horrible. But cleared up my head. This is the next book that I'm planning on reading. Let's talk about my contemporary romance that I've been putting off. The first one is Final Offer by Lauren Asher. You're probably like, why haven't you not read this book yet? Like you've had this book for months. It's been out for months. What is going on? I just saw something about this book not being the greatest and not a lot of people liked it. I don't want to be disappointed. Like I really love the first and the second book. This is my favorite brother and I don't want to be disappointed. So I'm putting it off. But I have 
to complete the series i have to read it okay so love in the brain is the next book i have here and this is by ali hazelwood she also wrote the love hypothesis which i really liked and it was very cheesy but i like cheesy romances i saw the word arch nemesis and i think i'm gonna like it okay the last physical book i have here is nanny for the neighbors by lily gold this just seems so funny this is about three guys and this girl they all live in the same apartment complex someone just drops off a baby in front of their apartment so she goes over to their apartment and she takes care of the baby and she kind of has a crush on all three of these guys so they're like three roommates living in the same apartment and her apartment is like right next to them i really want to see who she's gonna end up with and i really want to know whose baby this is like where did it even come from i don't know why but this just seems so funny and i feel like i'm gonna laugh my butt off this is probably gonna be my next read if i want something very light and fluffy now that we're done with all of the physical books that I have let's talk about all the books that I want to read on my Kindle and all the books that I am thinking of maybe buying but I'm not sure but I really really want to read first series that I want to read is the once upon a broken heart series by Stephanie Garber I read <laughs> Caraval by her and I loved it that's the book that literally made me want to like jump right back into fantasy I have no idea what is going on in that book, but I'm only here for the two main characters. I heard the second book was so much better, so I think I want to buy the books, but I don't know. I definitely want to buy Once Upon a Broken Heart. I heard amazing things about this, and they have these special edition covers. They are so beautiful, like, I just need to own them. I just, I just need them. That's the first book that I want to read. The next one is Charlie Love and Clichés by Ella Mays. And I did finish a couple books from her. They were okay. I really liked one of them. That one seems very cute. I do love the cover and I feel like I need to own it because it is pink. It's super cute. So I think I might buy that one. Another one that I really want to read is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. I just, just seems like a very sweet little YA romance. I think it's Rivals and I kind of want to own it because of the cover. Okay, another fluffy series that I really want to read is by Sarah Adams and it is When in Rome and then there's Practice Makes Perfect. I'm not the greatest fan of her writing but she writes very fluffy, cheesy, cutesy romance. They're always a good idea for whenever I'm in like a fluffy mood. Okay, I randomly found this book on TikTok and it is a fantasy. It is called Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is about two young rival journalists finding love through a magical connection. So they're writing letters to each other and there's just like, you know, the whole fantasy war thing going on. I feel like fantasy enemies to lovers is just always chef's kiss okay i randomly found this book on goodreads it's called the boyfriend candidate by ashley winstead he gets photographed with this girl leaving a bar because there was a fire and he like left with her because of a fire the photos look very scandalous and it could affect his career so now they have to pretend to be in like this relationship so that people don't think he's messing around i don't know it just seems like very funny fake dating involved rom-com um I, i'm here for it okay happy place by emily henry is on my list right now i am seriously waiting for a paperback to come out i think the paperback is on amazon i can bring myself to like buy any books right now because i have so many and i have no room absolutely no room like my floor it, it, it's done like there's like no room on my floor if i keep stacking my books higher and higher it's gonna crumble i'm waiting until i get a bookshelf and then i'll do like like a gigantic haul of books literally in my cart right now i have about like 10 books that i really really want even though they're on kindle unlimited but there's just certain books that you want to own you know yeah i really want to read the new lynn painter betting on you i think it just came out so there's not a paperback of it yet but that is definitely one that i want to own like a physical copy of those are like the books that i'm probably gonna pick from to read this month definitely want to tackle the physical copies that i have but that is what i will be focusing on reading for the next like two months or so. I have a feeling I'm not going to read any of the books I just showed you, but when I do my reading wrap up, 
we'll see how many I actually read. I've been reading at my own pace and I kind of like it because I seem to enjoy the books more rather than rushing to finish a goal. Currently, I'm not reading anything. Okay, that is it. That's what I'm planning on reading for the next couple of weeks. Okay, that's all I have for today. I will see you guys in my next video.